Hello world! Today I'll be sharing the URLs of three websites that I have found useful for strengthening my knowledge on embedded systems or electronics in general. The first website that I have found useful is SparkFun. This one is in my opinion the best website for a newbie. Because you'll find a lot of tutorials on topics like how to use a breadboard, how to use an oscilloscope or a multimeter and anything which is needed to set up a good foundation of the subject. You can learn or even revise your basics on this one. You'll find a lot of electronic products or kits as well, although I have never purchased anything in particular, but I've certainly checked their tutorials and have found them to be really helpful. Second one on my list is instructables.com. As the name itself conveys, you will be following a set of instructions in order to execute a particular project. These steps are shared by the users, so you can execute them in the same order to get a working project. Also, you can share the process that you followed for your project by breaking it down into a set of instructions for others, which I think is pretty cool. I believe that this one is suited for an intermediate level learner because you start building actual projects here. So, you should be thorough with your basics. Also, I have found that certain projects may or may not work. So, it is best to check the comments section for any discrepancies or errors before embarking on one. The third on my list is Hackaday.com. According to the website, hacking is an art form that uses something in a way in which it was not originally intended. I think that the projects on this one are more suited for an advanced level learner. They are pretty impressive and complex. And this website also contains an excellent collection of blog posts and information to fuel your imagination. So refer this one when you have gained a certain mastery over the subject. As I feel that this one is for folks who are into some serious tinkering. You can also share your working projects and even collaborate with others. They also have occasional contests, although I haven't participated in any of them yet. But do let me know if you have and how was your experience. Now, there are many other blogs, articles, books and websites that I might have referred. But these are the three websites that I refer on a regular basis. So do let me know if you have any other suggestions. Drop them down in the comment section below. And with that said, subscribe to the channel and I will see you next time. Bye world!